10, 11, 12, 13, and a little snout at the back. And then we've got one in the water, one female. It's quite a nice little group, really, because we've got the males and the females and the youngsters um, who will have been born last August through to November. It's quite nice to see them growing up. Coming out on the seal survey is one of the biggest bonuses. Being out with the singing seals serenading is that it's just me and the wildlife and I'm not in the office typing. You can really start to become one with the island again and get to love it again. So Lundy's actually quite a small island. It's only three miles long by half a mile wide. Um, it sort of erupts out of the sea, but it is a mecca of wildlife. And because of that, it does encourage lots and lots of researchers to come. And so my role as the warden is to oversee all the conservation work. There's the sparrows, uh, there's Manxu water work going on. We've also got the productivity monitoring of the seabirds. At Jenny's Cove, it is full of seabirds. We've got razorbills, guillemots, kittiwakes, fulmers, shags, they're all here. The puffins, however, have been our biggest success story. We were down to five puffins. In 2003, there was a rat eradication project and um, to get rid of all the thousands of black and brown rats. About three weeks ago, I had 53 puffins on the land, which is great. Oh, they're so cute. We've got lots of puffins today going in and out of their burrows. One of the things I'm doing today is to map out which burrows are being used. So I know that we've just seen one go into this little burrow here, so I'll just put another dot on. Later on in the season, we can see if any fish go into those burrows, and if they do, then we call that a successful burrow. Um, and we've had chicks, which is really good news. We're now in the summer season, which means that we have got Oldenburg sailing again. And she sails from both the Ilford Coombe and Biddeford, my role encompasses going down there to meet the boat um, and to go and meet the visitors. Um, and along with me is usually uh, Johnny, who does a lot of the Land Rover runs, um, and also Mike, who does the cargo. So one of the things I like to do when I'm down at the jetty is to have a quick little catch up with our captain, Jerry, but also to uh, discuss things like the Round the Island boat trip. General gossip. Yeah. <laughs> we were very lucky when I got the role on the island, um, as there was also a role available for Johnny, who's my partner, and we came here together. Um, he is a general outdoor assistant, but we also get to work together. And the nice thing is that as Johnny's a dive instructor, he's able to help me out taking snorkel safaris, mostly doing uh, shore support, but also he can come in the water too if we have larger groups. We are unique in that everyone that works here lives here. Chloe, who's doing an excellent job with guided walks. Steve, also the ranger, and there's housekeeping. We also have Grant in the bar. There is a really big community spirit. And one of the really positive things for Lundy is its stakeholders. The charter boats, the fishermen, they all love Lundy and they really want to support it. And if there are the occasional thing they're not quite sure about, they are the first people to let me know. So the pale seal that we can see with the other two, um, a couple of divers reported her to me that she's sadly got something around her neck. She's scratching and trying to rub at it and hopefully it will come off it on its own. With the topography that we have on the island, we can't risk trying to catch one because if we tried to tranquilise an animal here, we're more likely than not going to actually, unfortunately, drown them because they'll just go straight in the sea. Um, but it is something that people should be aware of. The marine litter, sadly, um, has quite a negative impact on all our marine life, even something as large as a seal. Um, so one of the nice things with having Johnny here is that um, I'm quite good at being a sofa bear, so just lounging around on the sofa on my days off. Um, but he is quite good at getting me out to enjoy the island, um, whether that's walking around or just going for a little dive under the jetty. You're generally not on your own. You do get joined by our little mischievous and curious uh, grey seals. Some of the encounters I've had with the seals are ones I'll never forget. And it's a, an interaction that really is just something to enjoy and just like the moment, really. 